how are you welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to another interesting video here on my channel and for those who are seeing this first for the first time it's your first time here my name is Irene Tiller and this is my youtube channel it's called Irene Tiller cooks I do a lot more of cooking videos just random cooking videos random recipes anything anything you can imagine you can prepare at home you will find here on my channel so please consider subscribing to the channel and be part of the Iron Tiller Cooks. And you can as well as go back to my previous videos. I've made so nice videos, so nice recipes. Just watch them, like them, and share them to as many people as you can. And for my crews, <laughs> thank you so much for always coming again and again to watch my videos. Thank you so much for appreciating my content. I really, really do appreciate that. And today guys, being a holiday, the kids are at home and today I'm going to share with you a kids recipe. <laughs> you know kids love nice things, they love nice food, they love yummy and delicious food. So today I'm going to share with you on how to prepare yummy chicken nuggets. So guys, let's do this together. For this recipe you'll need um, onion powder, the garlic powder and some salt and we'll also need the breadcrumbs the all-purpose flour and some eggs and we'll also need chicken the just the chicken boneless it has no skin and what I'm going to do is just to cut it into small pieces and the reason why I'm cutting into small pieces is to enable it cook quickly because it will just be cooked for three to three to five minutes So guys, this is my chicken. I've already chopped it into small or little pieces for it to enable it get well cooked because we'll just fry them for three to five minutes. And it's free from fat. As you can see, it's boneless and it doesn't have any skin. So what we are going to do is just now to season it and I'm going to season it with salt this is my salt it's just good to season it with salt and then the garlic powder and the onion powder so i'm just going to mix them Now to the all-purpose flour, I'm going to add just a pinch of salt, pinch of salt, and little white pepper, and uh, corn flour, and mix them properly. And the reason why I'm doing, I've added some salt and some white pepper is because I just want them to be well or well balanced or properly seasoned. I don't want the outer or the coating to be of different taste or with that one of the chicken. I just want them to be of the same taste. And then onto the milk, I'm going to add the 
powder milk and I'm going to add just two tablespoons of powder milk and the powder milk will help the eggs to be more thicker to be more thicker and more creamy and the milk powder actually is so nutritious it's so nutritious for both the kids and anyone who will consume the chicken needed for the coating of the chicken is ready the flour is ready mixed with a bit of season and the corn flour and then the eggs mixed with the powdered milk and then my breadcrumbs so what I'm going to do is now to take a piece of chicken one by one and cut and I'll start with the with the flour and then I pass it to the eggs and then I pass it to the breadcrumbs And I'm going to repeat the process just to repeat so that I finish all the pieces, all the chicken pieces. And guys, so I'm going to repeat this process for the next like uh, two to three minutes. going to heat the oil and now guys the oil is already heated and now what we're going to do next is just to put one by one or just little by little our coated chicken into the oil And remember to moderate the heat it should not be as high as too high and it also should not be as very low as it is so keep on moderating if the heat is too high then the chicken will get heated and turn to brown and even to black before it's ready cooked inside just keep on turn moderating the heat
yeah guys it's that time just to know how things have done or how things have gone but so far so good <laughs> and i'm really really excited about this recipe because um, when my daughter just heard of me, uh, that I, I was going to make the chicken nuggets she has just been moving all over the house asking for mama mama chicken nuggets chicken nuggets are they ready so far they're ready and i just love the outcome and i hope you love it too Ta -ran, ta -ran. <laughs> the chicken nuggets are ready uh, you can just see them by yourself just see them <laughs> yeah 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 i just love the color what? i just love everything even if you just feel the smile it's so yummy it's so tasty and guys as usual let me test and tell you how it is <laughs> i'm siske vibaya actually <laughs> this is the recipe just try and make yours at home so let me test Actually, they have already cooled. <laughs> Don't say they're still hot. They have already cooled, and um, it's so soft. Actually, I wanted it to come out. Yeah. Guys, it's so I'm excited about this recipe for sure. The outcome is so overwhelming. I can taste all the flavors that I put in during the seasoning time. Eh, so yummy. Um, so guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for your support. And I really, really do appreciate. So, I hope you've gone with me through the, all the steps and all the procedures of making this chicken nuggets just make for your kid and even you as an adult you can have it so guys thank you so much for watching my video and see you in my next one thank you